I finished my sketchbook, which means it is time for another sketchbook tour. Yeah. So I started the sketchbook in July this year and I finished it this month, actually a couple of days ago. Before diving into the sketchbook, I wanted to talk about something very quick. I had one goal with the sketchbook, which was to practice, practice and practice, which means I basically filled the sketchbook with mostly drawings from references or actually only drawings from references because I really wanted to practice and grind that before challenging myself with the next sketchbook again. I would say it's time to dive into the sketchbook. So on this first spread, I am actually very impressed of myself because I decided to dive into the sketchbook with a warm-up spread. And if you know me or you use sketchbooks regularly, you may know the fear of starting a new sketchbook and usually you don't want to mess up the first spread. And warm-ups don't turn out amazing usually, but for some reason I was like, you know what, I will just break the ice by messing up or not messing up, I don't care. And so I did. And I'm very happy that I did because I really like the color combination. I really love the way this yellow works with a purple. I, I love the fact that I did this this way. And then here I also noticed that I felt a little bit rusty with my poses. That also may be the case because I was warming up. But then I decided to work on my perspective. And I recorded a video on this as well with one of these spreads or two, I think. So that's what I did the next couple of days. I also tried to work on my line confidence while I was doing these, which means I wanted to keep everything very rough and I just wanted to get the perspective down and I wanted to keep my lines very sharp and very quick. Then <laughs> here I asked my friend to doodle something in here so that I would feel less scared to continue working in the sketchbook and it actually really helped me. Some more very quick drawings and again I wanted to work on my line confidence with these and then some gesture drawings and I think this spread was the one that I recorded and then uploaded. More perspective drawings again focusing on my line confidence and I got a lot better with this towards the end of the sketchbook. Oh yeah okay so here I felt like drawing faces again so I went on Pinterest and again I save all the photos that I work with so if you want to use them as well then go and check out my description because I will leave you the link to my Pinterest board down there as well. This is something with ballpoint pen. Again I think I don't have to mention this because that is an overall theme in the sketchbook working on my line confidence and I was using pencil here and I tried to play around with my smudging style but at the same time I wanted to see how the drawings would turn out if I would add a little bit more texture back after being done with the smudging and I actually like the feeling of this I think I went a little bit overboard but it's still okay I really like this one here really love this and also this guy is pretty cool yeah this spread I think is actually one of my favorite spreads if you know my videos you know that I love drawing with whopper pen and then coloring everything in with highlighter just simple basic highlighter and I love the way these turned out especially this one I really like this and now that I look at it I want to draw with ballpoint pen again yeah, it's very colorful. I tried to combine different colors. Oh, I also bought this new Faber-Castell broad pen, whatever. It's this one. It is... I hated it back then and now I use it to sketch my figure drawings because it's very good to practice something like line confident because you have to be very sure about each line that you make. And I love it for that. But back then I hated it, so yeah. Oh, I think this was also, this is probably my most favorite spread in the sketchbook because I remember I just turned on a comforting movie and I spent the whole night drawing while watching two movies actually. And this is one of the spreads that I made and I really like the way this mouth looks. I just didn't care. I was having fun and I loved it. And then this is the second spread of that night. It's cool to look back at it. Oh, 
Here I went to the museum as an artist day for the artist's way and it was actually kind of fun. And I was very impressed by the fact that they had helmets there because I felt very weird about helmets because I couldn't imagine them in 3D in my head, which it was just very difficult because I didn't really understand the forms they had. Helmets are pretty hard to understand based on photos. So I went to the museum and I was very happy that they had one helmet there. So I had to study it. And then a weapon. And I think this was from a painting and another helmet, but it's not a helmet that covers your whole face. And that was something that I was looking for and a hat and something that I don't know what it is, but it looked pretty. So I had to draw it. Oh, <laughs> this is one of the rare occasions in the sketchbook where you will see a sketch completely from imagination, but I messed it up by using, I think, watercolor on top, but yeah, it's okay. And then some more ballpoint pen faces and figure drawings. I think this was a warm up again. Oh, the spread I also recorded because I wanted to practice some clothes and foldings. And then I looked at Pinterest and I saw these references and I decided to draw them. I love her and I really like him and she turned out very cool as well, but I hate her. This face, I messed it up so much and I tried to cover it up, but then I was like, this is just a sketchbook. I don't care. I know I can do it better. So I just left it there. Okay, here I was writing down that I was having so much fun again. And that is all thanks to the artist's way. I am a huge fan. If you want to know more about how I feel about this book and what I think about each week's, then be sure to check out my other videos because I talk about those weeks in every video or ever since I started working with this book. Oh, apparently I was also sick. I don't remember, but yeah, I was doodling around with ballpoint pen. Oh yeah, and then I, <laughs> I noticed that I was feeling a little bit weak with my anatomy. So I decided to study some Will Weston things that he posted on Instagram. And I was trying to really understand what he try to tell through his drawings. This was very helpful, actually. I like to work with his Instagram post every now and then because you have to really think about what he is trying to say. So yeah. And then some poses with color pencil because I wanted to use them. <laughs> and the background is, by the way, with acrylic marker. Then here I try to tell myself to draw from imagination again. And I hate this drawing, but this was actually the first sketch. No, the second sketch of one of the characters that I made. I think the first one that I made for these very quick character drawings. I post them on Instagram sometimes, so yeah. And she's based on a dream that I had. And then this is the character that is coming out of her hand. And then another character, and I hate her. Oh my god. I really didn't like this spread, and I still don't like it. Then some notes on what I want to improve on. And also some faces from imagination. I really like this drawing. I think this one is from photo. And these are all from photo as well. But then all of these are from imagination. And this one as well. And then here I was at the museum, and this sketch, oh my god. So I have this sketchbook where I warm up because I don't want to waste a whole expensive sketchbook to draw 30 second poses in it. So I have a sketchbook for that. And on one day I woke up and I just wanted to draw a character from imagination. And I had this vision of this character and I really liked the way it turned out. And I was like, okay, it is time to put it somewhere else in a nicer sketchbook. So I did that. And I am happy about that. I recorded this spread as well. I hate the second half of it. It is terrible. But I really like these sketches. They turn out okay-ish. Then continuing to learn my folds. But this time I was really trying to understand them. And I got better. I improved a lot. Some warm-up because I was on my way to Cologne. Some very quick doodles of bathrooms that I used to live in. And then some more faces from photo and again, poses 
then again anatomy study for the leg or the foot in this case i love the spread so much i really like the way these faces turned out i really do again a warm-up apparently then some very quick poses and here i recorded the spread again i really like the way it turned out and i'm glad that i recorded it a quick brainstorm for a character that i also recorded in a vlog and then some more faces with ballpoint pen something from imagination i don't like the spread and i then decided to continue studying clothes and folds which i did here as well and this is also another video on my channel and again i hate this face <laughs> but i remember it was so difficult for me to draw this because my phone which i use for recording was in my face all the time and i couldn't really see what i was drawing so yeah i really like this page even though it is very simple but i focused on my line confidence again and i love the way it turned out and also this drawing from photo inspired one of the characters that i posted most recently i think and i really like the way it turned out he is one of my favorite ones so far um these were some stickers because i ordered stickers for myself which you can also see here but i accidentally didn't print it in cmyk instead i printed them in rgb which is not good <laughs> so you don't you can't really see the contrast that it actually has and they also sent me some stickers for free then some more faces from photo continuing this i really like this and this and then i continued with i think 30 second poses then some more faces from imagination i was not feeling great this time around yeah some more poses i really like this one and i also like the edges on this one more quick doodles oh this is a character from imagination that i actually really like i think she has such a cool vibe it looks very very cool and then continuing with drawings from photo this is a very quick sketchbook tour but i don't have much to tell you then here i noticed that i could use this pen that i bought that i was talking about earlier for my line confidence practices so i started doing that and i did a lot more in my cheaper sketchbook and i need to tell you i never improved so fast with anything so that's a very cool feeling i really like these i mean ignore the proportional issues every now and then i think that is normal if you start out with a pen like this but it's really helpful and even though it is very difficult i would recommend you that practice then some poses this is these two are from imagination again more poses and then here i was using this pen again i really like this pose more of these <laughs> i really like this one as well and this one and also i only set a timer for one minute per sketch so these are all one minute poses Ooh, this is one of the spreads that i actually really like especially the first half of it again i was challenging myself to draw from imagination and i wanted to see if i could convey emotions and expressions better than i used to and i can tell you yeah i do i improved a lot with that even though i didn't really practice it except for analyzing other people's art by just looking at it and trying to understand what they were doing and then this is the first day of my new challenge that i set myself i want to really dive into the anatomy and i think i want to try to spend one or two weeks on each individual part of the body and i really want to understand how first the bones work and how they are shaped and also i really want to understand muscles and i want to be able to name them so that's what i'm doing and i started off with the upper arm and this is the deltoid <laughs> very quick sketches thanks to proko for his amazing videos that he has on his channel and then this is a very 
rough page this is one of the i actually wanted to finish the sketchbook with the spread but then i was having so much fun with these very quick ballpoint pen doodles you can also tell how much i improved with my line confidence it's so cool and then i decided to finish off the sketchbook with another spread with ballpoint pen using highlighter for shading and i am glad that i did i had a blast working on this last spread i never finished a sketchbook tour so quickly I hope you still enjoyed the video and I will see you next week.